Hey guys, I'm Dr. Mitchell. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to mix Botox with saline when you get it, as well as what supplies you're going to need. Today's video, we're going to, you've probably already taken a course on, on how to administer, how to mix it, but this video is just kind of a refresher to those who maybe haven't done it in a while or want some additional information on how to do it. So this is going to be the supplies that you're going to start off with. First thing you're gonna need is 50 or 100 unit vial of Botox. I order this straight from Allergan. Second, you're gonna need one and a half to three milliliters of bacteriostatic saline. I order that in 30 milliliter vials from my dental supply company. Third, you're gonna need a three milliliter syringe that will be used for mixing saline and the Botox. Fourth, you're going to need a one milliliter syringe for injecting the Botox into your patient. You're typically going to need a few of these depending on how many areas you're treating. The last two things you're going to need are a 30 gauge by one and a half inch needle and a 20 gauge one inch needle for mixing the Botox. The 30 gauge is used for injecting the Botox into your patient. The 20 gauge needle is going to be used to mix the Botox and the saline together, as well as draw your syringes. So now that you know what you need, Let's kind of talk about the concentrations. These concentrations that I use are 3.33 units of Botox per 0.1 milliliter of saline. I have always used this combination of Botox and saline. It's worked very well for me. I've gotten great patient feedback in regards to the strength. You've heard rumors of people who dilute their Botox so that it's not as strong. I have never found that to be beneficial. It always is probably gonna to come to bite you in the rear end to try and save a few dollars. The best way to do it is do it right, make it a good concentration, and I have found that 3.33 units per 0.1 milliliters has worked really well for me. Here's kind of a flow of how I mix it. Here's the numbers behind it so that you have a little bit better understanding of what I'm doing. Okay guys, here's the math on how I get 3.33 units per 0.1 milliliters. If you're starting out with a 100 unit vial, you're gonna mix that with three milliliters saline. If you have a 50 unit vial, mix that with 1.5 milliliters of saline. Here's the math, if you have 100 units over three milliliters, it comes out to be about 3.33 units per 0.1 milliliter or injection site. So that's your, your math there, 100 units, 3 milliliters, 50 units, 1.5 milliliter mix. Okay, so now that you guys have learned the mathematics behind mixing Botox, I'm going to demonstrate it to you and kind of give you a few tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that are going to really help you do this for your patients, friends, family, staff, etc. So first I start off with your Botox that comes in a vial like this. This is a 100 unit vial. This it, you're, you're gonna get it, it's gonna look like it's empty. It's gonna be a small powder of Botox in the very bottom that's adhered to the glass. Don't worry, this is the, or the fun part comes in with the mathematics behind it. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I start with a three milliliter syringe and I place my 20 gauge needle on it. The reason I use such a large gauge is because it draws from the bottle faster and more efficiently. If you try to use a smaller gauge needle like a 30 gauge, it's going to be very slow and tedious in order to draw that out of the bottle. So I know I'm not wearing gloves. This is just for demonstrations only. This is actually an empty bottle of Botox I've already used. So bear with me here. You should be wearing gloves and working in a sterile environment to do this. Again, three milliliter syringe, 20 gauge needle. I have my bacteriostatic saline. Remove my needle cap and I draw three milliliters for this 100 units are in or bottle. I make sure to try and get all the air bubbles out of there. Now here's a little trick I have learned along the way. Throughout drawing Botox and using different syringes for different areas, you're going to have a little bit of loss and that's okay. What I do to make up for that is I draw about 3.1 to 3.2 milliliters of saline out. Yes, that's going to throw off your concentration ever so slightly, but trust me, the amount that it throws off your, your concentration is so minor, it's not going to affect your patient's results. So trust me on this, it, you end up using most of the bottle anyways, I barely ever have any left over, but a good side note is if you have room 
always take out a little bit extra. I'm talking about five units or so and keep it in your fridge because if you ever have a patient that comes back that needs a correction for an area that was missed, you have that on hand. You don't have to order a new 50 or unit, unit 100 unit vial. So then I have by about 3.1, 3.2 milliliters of saline. I get it in the Botox bottle here and just squirt it in. Now there's been results that say, and the instructions say, do not shake the bottle. I kind of give it a little swirl, make sure that all of the white powder that's on the bottom of the, of the vial has been used up. So let's say we are going to focus on the forehead today and do roughly 20 units of Botox. What I do is I think about it like this. How many areas am I going to inject in? If I'm going to do five spots on the forehead to get rid of the front frontalis wrinkles, I'm going to draw out about 0.5 milliliters, 0.1 milliliter per injection site. Now, when you're working with your 11s and your crow's feet, you're going to use different concentrations, which I'm going to show you about in a different video about how much to administer where. But let's see, we're doing five injection points on forehead. I'm going to draw 0.5 milliliters of this 100 unit bottle into my one milliliter syringe. So now I grab my small one milliliter syringe. I use again my 20 gauge needle because it draws out quicker, it's more efficient. And you're not wasting your 30 gauge needles. When you try and when you use those 30 gauge needles, every time you poke it with something or any needle for that matter, it gets dull very quickly. So I have my one milliliter syringe on a 20 gauge needle. I'm gonna draw out 0 0.5 milliliters, this is kind of where I draw some extra. I'll probably do 0 0.525 or 0 0.53. There it is. And now I'm going to administer 0 0.1 milliliters per injection point across the forehead. Just to illustrate where you're going to counter some loss, which will happen uh, inside of these needles. There's a small space between the actual syringe itself and the needle and there is lost material in those. It doesn't seem like much, but it accumulates quickly when you're doing four or five syringes on one patient. After I'm done with that 20 gauge needle, I put the 30 gauge on, and now this is ready to administer to a patient. So this kind of gives you a brief overview of how to mix Botox, what supplies you're gonna need, how to pull it into the syringes. This is very basic. If you have any questions about the math behind it, please comment, like the video, and I will respond on what I think is going to be the best route for where you're administering and how much and at what concentration, which I'm going to be showing you in the video later to come. But this is kind of a brief introduction on how I mix my Botox for my patients, staff, friends, etc. So hope you guys learned something. Enjoy. Drop a comment, like, and subscribe to the videos. Thanks.